Now, I love a good bass player, and I personally always listen closely and match my bass drum or my foot to the rhythmic pattern of the bass player. And forming the foundation of a band's groove by locking in rhythmically with the drums is one of the bass guitar's main duties. Known as the rhythm section, this rhythmic interaction lays the groundwork for the development of melodies and harmonies. So I'm so excited. Let's get into the history about the bass guitar. So let's start with the early roots of the upright bass. So the upright bass evolved from the viola da gamba family, which were bow string instruments popular in the Renaissance period. The viola da gamba, or the viols, had a variety of sizes with the larger ones serving as the predecessors of the double bass. Now, the first known double basses appeared at about the mid-16th century, and the earlier double basses had about three strings, and they were larger than the modern double basses, which made them kind of difficult to play. The double bass was used primarily in consort music, which is music that's performed by ensembles and instruments of the same family, and church music. It provided the baseline and fundamental part of the musical structure in both secular and sacred music. Now the earlier basses had a variety of shapes and sizes, and they often had flat backs or sloped shoulders, which were quite large compared to the modern versions. And because the design varied from one maker to another, it lacked in standardization. Most of the early double basses had three strings that were tuned in fourths, often A, D, and G, but some of them had four and five strings, but these were less common. The bowing technique for the double bass was similar to that of the viol family, but the earlier bows were curved and shorter than the modern bows. Evolution, transition to orchestras. By the 17th century, composers like Claudio Monteverdi utilized the double bass in their compositions, which helped to establish its role in the orchestras. During the 18th century, the double bass underwent significant changes, like including the addition of the fourth string and alterations to its shape and better sound projection. And these two violin makers were instrumental in refining in the design and construction of the double bass. So by the 19th century, the double bass had evolved into a more standardized instrument, kind of what we see today. The introduction of metal strings and advances in bow design further improved its playability and sound. The upright bass set the stage for the development of the electric bass guitar in the 20th century. In 1935, Paul Tutmark, a musician and inventor from Seattle, Washington, introduced the first known electric bass guitar. Now his instrument, the AudioVox Model 736 bass fiddle, featured frets and they were played horizontally like a modern electric guitar. This really set the tone for future development. Then throughout the 1940s and the 1950s, the bass guitar went through some further refinements and it gained popularity in jazz rhythm and blues ensembles. And before you knew it, the introduction of the precision bass by Leo Fender in 1951 had revolutionized this instrument, providing a more practical design and solidifying its role in popular music. Now, when rock and roll emerged in the 1950s and 1960s, the bass guitar became an essential element in bands like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Who, 
bassists like Jane Jamerson and Motown's Funk Brothers and Carol Kay in The Wrecking Crew, they all define the instrument's role with their different playing styles, shaping the sound across various genres. So in live performances, the bass and drums collaborate closely to establish and maintain the song's tempo, the dynamics, and the overall feel. They synchronize their rhythms, creating a tight, cohesive sound that drives the music forward and engages the listener. So as we reflect on this journey from the upright to the electric, we recognize that the bass guitar is not just an instrument, but it is a cornerstone to modern music, continuing to inspire musicians and audiences worldwide. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope that you really enjoyed this presentation about the bass guitar's history. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to watch this next video about more history of musical instruments and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, don't miss a... Uh...